Yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. You know, we'll sit around forever wondering, well, what if I, you know, what if I was a dog catcher? Would I be the best? What if I was a, you know? Every day we change the world. But to change the world in a way that means anything, that takes more time than most people have. It never happens all at once. It's slow. It's methodical. It's exhausting. We don't all have the stomach for it. What if it's a mistake? It's a mistake. Rest assured. What do you know? You're going to stumble around, right? And what's going to happen is this. You're going to move. You're going to not stay in stasis. You're not going to wander around in circles. And I see people like that. They said, well, I never knew what to do, and now I'm 40. It's like, that's not so good. That's not so good. And you might say, well, and there is a literature, too, that suggests that people are a lot more unhappy when they look back in their lives about the things they didn't do than they are about the mistakes they made while they were doing things. It's how they get you to give up. They say it's not that simple, Vinny. So what's the truth? That it is. I want people to understand that they're not alone, that there are other people feeling exactly the way they're feeling, that their behavior is not insane, that they have a disease, and it's not their fault. There's a very famous kind of line that people don't change. I happen to know that people do change, and I see that every day. I see people getting better. I see the lights in their eyes come on. There's a million excuses I could make to rationalize not getting up early, doing the ice bath and going for a run. There comes a time when all of these potential excuses turn into fuel that motivates you to keep going. You got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures, because remember this, you will never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. If you want to know something about yourself, sit on your bed one night and say, what's one thing I'm doing wrong that I know I'm doing wrong, that I could fix, that I would fix? You meditate on that, you'll get an answer. And it won't be one you want, but it'll be the necessary one. It's the whole issue. People have a feeling that they can change, but they have no effort they don't want to get in the game because they feel it's, you know, it's just too much time and it doesn't work. And I tried it and it didn't work. And then they give up and then life just goes on. It's seamless. You, you don't see it. It's just the way you've been living. And my older brother, who was 12, got into an electrical accident and he died in my arms. And really come to terms with that I was the one who got to live. That this life that we live, it's a privilege. And when I really started to take that in, I felt this tremendous urge to do something with my life, to do something that mattered. At some point, everything's gonna go south on you. Everything's gonna go south and you're gonna say, this is it. This is how I end. Now you can either accept that or you can get to work. You can't stop. You can't quit. You can't say, I'm a failure. You're not a failure. You're not. You're a wonderful, strong, intelligent youngster. Take advantage of that. Trust in God. Trust in yourself. Until you say, yeah, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm going to take action. Nothing changes if nothing changes, man. And I'm not preaching at you. I'm just, uh, I just want to remind you because, you know, I've spent a lot of time in my life sitting around wanting things to change um, and not being able to make them change and, and not thinking I could. And I wish somebody had told me that earlier sometimes that in order for something to change, there needs to be change. You cannot stand still because the world moves away from you if you stand still. And there's no stasis, there's only backwards. And so if you're not moving forwards, then you're moving backwards. How much harder will you work in this offseason now to get back to the championship? 
I'll I'll push myself to exhaustion. Kobe, we thank you for your time. I just, I feel like we sort of focus on right ways and wrong ways too much. And um, I think it's in a sense sort of scary to just be born and live life. And and I I understand the the idea of kind of grasping onto um, a particular thought of wanting to kind of feel like you somehow have a handle on the unknown, but you know what, the unknown is is the unknown. <laughs> Every time you have changed, you feel pain. You stepped out of one relationship to another and you feel pain. You leave one neighborhood to another and you feel pain. You go from one job to another and you feel the fire of transition. See change as growth. See change as transformation. See change as evolution. See change as necessary. See change as critical. See change as inevitable. Do something. Stop being f***ing scared if you have not jumped on the bandwagon of doing exactly what the f*** you want to do, which is skiing for the next three years or working at a job that's not what your parents want or what society wants. Do something. Stop being f***ing scared. And so enough. Enough parents, the kid that's sitting right now at a desk and saw this in a feed and you hate your f***ing job, enough. Stand up and get the f*** out of here and do you. Live your life. you got one life. And so if you're not willing to be a fool, then you'll never start anything new. And if you never start anything new, then you won't develop. And so the willingness to be a fool is the precursor to transformation. And that's the same as humility. And so if you're going to write your destiny, you can do a bad first job. You're going to get smarter as you move forward. When you can learn to do things when you don't want to, when you don't feel like it, when you're tired, when you can learn to push yourself to do them, that's when the world opens up to you. That's when success knocks at your door. There will never come a time when you can just happily coast through life. It's hard to stay governed by anxiety. It's hard to be inconsistent. It's hard not to have daily disciplines. It's hard not to believe in yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to be poor. It's hard. It's all hard. So choose your heart. What I am telling you to do is chase after that version of yourself that you know you could be. What happens when I decide for myself that I'm going to do something different? You've got the gift of life. You have the privilege of being here. Quit playing small. You were meant to do great things. Nothing changes if nothing changes, man. Thank you.